So first anal probe, and now they're electrocuting giblets? Giblets? <laughs> What's up, all you stone cold, super fly, fish keeping fucking dollars? You watch your album phone with me, Jay the Angel Freak, and today I want to talk to you about the pink glowing angelfish. I got a bunch of names out there for it, <clears throat> and I'm not doing this video um, to 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 dog the fish or or approve of the fish. I'm gonna leave that up to you. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you some information so that if you do decide to buy this fish when they're available um, um, for purchase, you got a little bit of backstory on them so that you know what you're doing. Um, you know what, 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 you're pay, what, you, what you're buying. So <clears throat> in 2012, in the Taiwan International Fish Expo, the world got their first glimpse of the pink angelfish or glowing angelfish. And, and I, I've, done, I've done whatever research I could on this subject. There's not a whole lot of information on it. Like I said, in 2012 is when the um, expo came about, and that's the first time people could see these fish, and they've been pretty much shut-lipped about it ever since. Um, one of the reasons was they said they wasn't ready. The product wasn't ready. The product wasn't ready. Okay, product. That's okay. Um, so, that was 2012. Seems that the lifespan of an angelfish is anywhere from 8 to reportedly 10 years. <clears throat> the product, the original product, should be coming upon its, its uh, end of its, its uh, natural life cycle. So there should be a lot of research that they have, you know, gathered on this fish. I know, um, and like I said, there's not a whole lot of information out there. Most of the information that I've read has been um, pretty much the same couple of articles about the same expo talking about talking to the same people. So um, let me tell you what I've, I've read. I've read one that the ang this angelfish is actually a true glowing angelfish where it doesn't need a black light to grow, to glow, I'm sorry. In the daytime it will come out pink um, and at night without any black light it, it will glow pink. That's one thing I've read. Um, I read that um, report reports say that when they first developed this fish they tried to um, inject the glowing protein of I, I forget the name of this coral I'm going to put it right here this coral right there um, they took the glowing protein out of that coral and injected it directly to the eggs of the angelfish um, which didn't yield a whole lot um, most of them died or didn't even have the glowing feature to them um, since then I believe they came up with another method where they <laughs> it's a little barbaric um, they come up with this method where they take the protein and they, they, they get it to pass through the cell membrane of the fish's giblets. Now, the only way they can get this to happen is by electrocuting the, the angel fish's jump so that the cells can be disrupted enough for this glowing DNA protein to pass through. And while the, the, angel, the parents of the angel fish will look normal, they will produce 1% so far is, is what they, they said in 2012 that 1% of the spawn have the glowing feature. 1% of the spawn. So what do they do with the other ones? Little uh, little insider tip if information. Um, they're probably culling all those fish. So uh, all those babies. So that's a lot of babies being put to death because they would not accept a salt water coral protein. I think that's a little barbaric. But like I said, to each his own, you make your decision. Um, another thing I read also, um, if you guys know about the Glowfish, um, the Glowfish is actually a patented product where, where you cannot sell these baby Glowfish if you manage to um, breed regular Glowfish um, because it's got a patent on it. So now we have a patent on life. Okay, um, so apparently these these angels are probably going to have the same patent copyright attached to them where if you do get them to breed um, and they glow, you can't sell them because that would be stealing. Um, not to mention, if, if, if you have to inject 
proteins into their giblets. More than likely, these these angelfish will produce regular angelfish, even though the, they would be glowing. Anyway, so that's that's what that's what you're getting when you buy these angelfish, and and, and <clears throat> when they are available to market, and they will be available on the market. Um, in 2012, someone offered a hundred thousand dollars U.S. currency for just one of these angelfish. With that type of money, they're going to be on the market. So, if if you guys want to buy this angelfish, like I said, I just want you to know what it took to get these angelfish to exist. Now, obviously I'm kind of against the whole gene DNA manipulation thing. And that's what it is, is DNA manipulation. Um, <clears throat> and, and you might be thinking, well, what's the difference, you know, between, you know, selective breeding and gene manipulation? Eh, it's kind of a lot, a, a big difference in my book. But it's my book, you know, not your book, it's my book. So yeah, if you, you decide to get it, just just think. Just because we can do something doesn't mean we should do it. I mean when you think about it, it's a corporation, a private corporation, that is taking DNA from one species, saltwater species, and combining it with the DNA of a freshwater species. Now, I don't know about you, but I've seen a lot of movies that have that same type of thing going on, and it never ends out well. Just saying. 